guys, it's Beauty by Melanie and I hope you're all doing well today. And today I'm excited to be filming this video because I'm going to share with you my top 5 favorite blush in the neutral pinky category. So if you're interested in seeing that, then please keep watching. So really I have 6, I couldn't cut it down to 5, but I thought it would be weird if I called it my 6 top favorite blushes. So I have 5 with a bonus, but let's just get started. The first one I have for you guys is by Tarte and it's the famous blush in the color Expose. It's their Amazonian clay long wearing blush and I just really enjoy Tarte blushes. They are very long wearing, they claim to last up to 12 hours and they do. They, they last on my cheeks for up to 10 hours, they apply really flawlessly and they are really pigmented so you just need a little bit when you apply them on the cheeks. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this color looks like. So this is the what the color looks like. As you can see, it's in the neutral, but it does have a pinkier base to it. And I just think this is such an easy color to pull off. It looks great on everyone, and when I don't know what to wear during the day, I usually reach for this blush. So let me go ahead and give you guys a swatch. So that is what Tarte, uh, the, the Tarte Exposed blush looks like. It's a really, really beautiful color, and it doesn't do it justice Really, when you apply it to the cheeks, it's just so stunning. So I really do recommend that blush. My two other favorite blushes in the neutral family are from NARS. And the first one I have is Douceur. And it is such a beautiful blush and it looks like this. So it's quite similar to the color Exposed, but it does go on the cheek very light. So I think this is a beautiful, beautiful color if you're fair skin. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a swatch. So this is Dussor by NARS and this is Exposed by Tarte. So you can see that the Tarte one is much pinker and Dussor is very much more of a neutral brown toned but very very stunning and it looks beautiful on cheeks once again. It's a very universal shade and it looks flattering on every skin tone but it does look good on fair skin because it is a very light shade. This is a very heavy swatch so when you put it on the cheeks it applies less pigmented. The third blush I have is by NARS also, and this is in the color Madly, and this is one that I really, really love to reach for. It's so beautiful, and it's very, once again, a universal flattering shade, and it's on the brown neutral base, but it's just so beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a swatch. And Madly is really pigmented also, um, very easy to apply, it blends out flawlessly. It has a slight shimmer in there, so it just really looks beautiful when you apply it on a cheek. It's like you're glowing within. So this is the color by NARS Madly. So it's more of a coral shade compared to um, Dussor and much less pink than Tarte Exposed. The fourth blush I have from, for you guys is by Burberry and this is my all-time favorite. I'm sure you've heard me talk about this several times. I actually have a Burberry collection video up so I'll leave a link to that below if you're interested in hearing more of my thoughts and seeing my collection. But this is the um, earthy blush in the number 7, the light glow blush. And this is a much loved blush. I've used this quite a lot. So I'll give you guys so this is what the Burberry blush in Earthy looks like and it's so gorgeous. This is one of my favorites. It's so easy to apply and they last on for a long, long time. And I just really, really love this blush. So this is a swatch of the Burberry blush in Earthy. And keep in mind, all of these blushes swatched are heavier swatched, so they do blend out really lighter on the skin so keep that in mind but this is one of the browner ones the most neutral one and it just looks beautiful i even use it sometimes to contour my cheeks and as a blush also it really really does look absolutely beautiful so i do really recommend that burberry blush another one of my favorite neutral rosy tone blushes is by josie marin and i'm not even sure if they make this anymore if she makes this anymore but this is the blush in the color fever and it comes in a beautiful golden uh, rose gold packaging like this one and this is what the color looks like. This is such a beautiful color. I think I should use it more often but I have so many blushes but seriously this is a gorgeous blush if you can still get your hands on it. It's very pigmented, it blends out really beautifully on the cheeks and it wears really flawlessly so I'm going to give you guys a swatch of this. This blush is really pigmented also so you need to use a light hand when you use this. So here is the Josie Marin blush in Fever. It's much more pink than all these four ones here, or the three ones here. It's similar to Tarte Exposed, 
but it is a nice light neutral pink shade. And for the bonus, I could not pass up putting a MAC uh, blush in my top favorites. And this is a pressed um, mineralized blush and it's in pressed amber, so that's the color. And this is what and this is a really beautiful blush also. And these are the mineralized blushes. And they come out with these um, usually every year with different colors. But this one is one of my favorites. It's just so beautiful. It's a neutral and I can also use this as a bronzer. But it does have more of a reddish tone. So you have to be careful and use a light hand. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a swatch. And this blush is very pigmented and it has a nice sheen to it also so I think it looks beautiful on the cheeks so this is what it looks like right here this is pressed amber and this is also one of the browner more neutral less pink shades and I don't know if you can see that sheen on it but it's so gorgeous absolutely stunning so here's a quick overview of all of my neutral top favorite blushes so those are all my favorite blushes in the neutral category guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite neutral blushes. I would love to know. And if you guys are interested in seeing a video where I show some pinker blushes or some brighter blushes, then leave a comment down below. I would love to do kind of a series of my top favorite blushes and this would be the neutral part and I could do a brighter version of pinks and maybe a coral version also. So if you're interested in seeing that, then leave me a comment down below. But thank you guys so much for for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video